Well, the spring sailing season begins here in a few weeks, and that means Canadian tourists, specifically more than a million and a half dollars in taxes for the city of Anacortes alone. But that could all be in jeopardy because of I-976. With the warm weather travel seasons right around the corner, it should be a time of rejoicing for Rick Starr. But this year, he's a bit nervous. Well, we do kind of keep our fingers crossed. Canadians crossing into the States come right through the Anacortes Ferry Dock. Nearly 120,000 people every year. They are the bread and butter for restaurants like Rick Starr's Rockfish Grill. Those are the critical months for us and for all the businesses here in town because um, tourism is key. Right now, there are two ferries that sail between Sydney, B.C. and Anacortes. One of them, the Elwha, is more than half a century old and in dire need of replacement. Funding for the Elwha is no longer in the governor's transportation budget, which has been gutted due to the passage of I-976. That means the ferry system would have to shuffle another boat to Anacortes from its already depleted fleet or cut the number of daily runs to BC from two to one. That leaves no room for error. Anacortes Mayor Lori Gear says the Anacortes to BC run supports 1,400 jobs and $126 million in spending around the North Sound. Any reduction in service would hurt. It's going to affect us. It's going to have an impact. We're going to have less visitors in our community. We'll have less folks staying in our hotels, eating our restaurants, buying in our shops, less jobs for local people, that, the people that work at the ferries. Here's the good news. A brand new ferry is coming to Anacortes. The bad news? It's not coming for about three more years. Meantime, local officials say they are working with the ferry service to try to get creative, in their words, to keep at least one of those BC runs operating this summer. In Anacortes, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.